Bienvenue à Paris. Aujourd'hui, nous allons à San Francisco avec Air France la première. On today's flight, we'll be taking the daytime service from Paris Charles de Gaulle all the way over to San Francisco in one of the world's most exclusive first class cabins. Now, this trip has gotten off to a very unusual start, but that's a story for another day. For now, we're going to Air France La Première check-in to start the journey. If you're lucky enough to be flying with Air France in first class, you'll have access to an exclusive check-in area at Paris Airport. We've got a private check-in area here for La Première to start things off. A La Première representative takes your passport and your bags and completes all the check-in formalities for you before escorting you through security. Now the La Première security process still brings you through the regular security queue with everyone else, but your private escort helps bring you through to the front of the line and navigates through the security process right alongside you. The Air France La Première Lounge is an ultra-exclusive space for first-class passengers with fine dining on an unlimited a la carte basis. To give you an idea of the sheer luxury in this lounge, there's no less than 11 types of bottled water to choose from. I sat down for a breakfast service catered by the world-renowned and three Michelin-starred chef, Monsieur Alain Ducasse. All right, we've got an omelet, waffles, and petit viennoiserie over here. It's looking pretty good. The omelette was one of the best omelettes I've ever had in my life, and the Belgian waffles were delightfully sweet and crispy. The La Première Lounge also has a dedicated space for taking a nap, as well as a series of shower rooms stocked up with amenities. And the bathrooms are all housed in these individual cylindrical units. This is obviously an incredible lounge. It's been a dream of mine to fly Air France La Première for many, many years, and I can't believe I'm actually in here. Definitely very much looking forward to the flight itself. It may have only been 8 a.m. in the morning, but it was never too early to get started on the drinks. And finally, I couldn't resist trying the pistachio praline ice cream served in a chilled goblet. And you have your vaccinations? Yep. Perfect. Thank you so much. And just like that, it was time for the main event of the Air France La Première ground experience, a private car transfer in a BMW across the airport tarmac straight to the Air France 777. Along the way, my chauffeur was happy to take me for a tour of the airport grounds, and we waited for another 777 to pass us by. I've got to say, this is just an absolutely insane thing to be doing. We parked right alongside the Air France 777 and took the stairs up to the jet bridge. And from there, my handler escorted me down the jet bridge onto the aircraft and straight into the first class cabin. The Air France La Première cabin is a timeless chic design as exemplified by this seat side lamp. Let's go for a comprehensive seat tour. Underneath the ottoman at the opposite end of the suite, there's a storage space where you can keep some of your belongings. Then to your side, there's further storage within the seat console, as well as the entertainment controller and power ports. The controls are found here as well, powering the electronic window shades, and the literature rack is along the bottom. And there's another storage compartment over here. Welcome to the incredible Air France La Première. Tattinger's Conte 2007 was the house champagne on this flight. And just to wrap up the seat tour, the tray table slides outwards, leaving enough space to dine with a companion. I've got to say, this is just an absolute dream come true. Among all the first class flying experiences I've had, this definitely is going to rank up there, and it's pretty incredible that I'm actually getting to fly it. Stick around to the end of the video to find out how much I actually paid for this Air France La Première flight. 
And certainly one of the best features of the suite is gonna be these curtains right here, which can close later on. But right now, it's a pretty empty cabin anyway. Let's check out the amenity kit and the pajamas now. The amenity kit is this beautiful leather design featuring skincare items by Carita Paris. And I found the pajamas and the slippers to be very comfortable as I settled in for takeoff. As boarding was completed, I was absolutely overjoyed to find that I'd be the only passenger in the first class cabin today. Now, with the curtains drawn, it's really just you and me. Listen guys, I've done my fair share of ridiculous first class adventures before, but nothing's really gonna top this one. Once you draw the curtains, you really do have your own private cocoon, especially here on the window seats. But hey, on this flight, there's nobody else here in first class, so I really just have this whole space to myself. And now that we've reached cruising altitude, let's take a look at the lunch menu for today. So here we have the lunch menu. It is a very comprehensive multi-course menu with appetizers, soup, starter, main dishes, salad, cheese, dessert, and a hint of freshness at the end. Now I'll obviously start with the caviar, but I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, so I'm gonna skip that one. I've asked them to give me both starters, the foie gras and the langoustines. After all, there's nobody else here in the cabin, so I can pretty much eat whenever I want. For the main dish, I'm also gonna try both the beef tenderloin and the scallops and langoustines. And finally, after that, I'll give the mixed salad a go, followed by the cheese, the dessert, and the hint of freshness with ice cream, sorbets, and fresh fruit. It's time for the first course of the meal, caviar and champagne. Let's give this a try. Mm. That is powerful. Now the fact that I'm the only passenger on board means that I get to try as many of the dishes as I want. So we're doing both the foie gras appetizer and the langoustines, and I'm having some sauterne wine to go along with it. At 35,000 feet, my meal service continued in decadence and delight. Here's the langoustines. Mmm, so super. Now the mixed salad has been served, but it's really this dish, the scallops and langoustines, it's really gonna be a lot of fun. We've got the truffle sauce right here, and on it goes. Now check this out. The scallops have got a piece of truffle on the inside. Okay, so I may have been over ambitious with ordering food because this is my second main course after two appetizers as well. But I couldn't resist trying the steak on board Air France La Première. After all, it's a big part of French cuisine, so I'm really curious how the steak turns out at 35,000 feet. This is where I found the beef tenderloin to be a little bit tough. It's certainly a minor complaint, but one that I felt was worth mentioning given the prestige of La Première. I got to pick from a huge variety of cheeses, which were then plated for me. Oof, smells like cheese. I am running on very little sleep right now, but because of how much trouble I've gone through to fly on La Première, I'm gonna insist on staying up the whole time, which is why it's cappuccino time. And along with my coffee, I'm having two desserts. Here's a caramel and chocolate cake as well as a fruit-based square tart. And that was followed by a trio of sorbets, a fruit plate, and a wide-ranging tea selection by Palais d'Été. It was the perfect way to wrap up an outstanding meal service. 
after well and truly stuffing myself with lunch, it's time to get some work done for the rest of the flight. And now I reckon it's time to get some rest. Good night. Like I said though, I don't actually want to sleep, but I'm just testing out the bed. And my gosh, is it comfortable. I did end up dozing off for about an hour or so because I did have a very long and eventful day prior to this flight. Here's the bathroom of the Air France 777. It's pretty small in here, but it's got everything you need as a first class passenger. And for the latter half of the flight, I was treated to some spectacular views of the Rocky Mountains as we flew over Canada. They've let me move over to the right side of the plane here in seat 1K for my second meal of this 12 hour flight. The second meal service was another delight with wild grain salad, salmon cannelloni, and another small cheese plate. Now, as promised, let's talk about how much I actually paid for this Air France La Première flight. It really wasn't a lot of money at all. I got this flight for about 450 US dollars, even though it usually sells for about 10,000 euros. And the reason I got it for so cheap is because there was a special sale when you bought La Première originating out of Algiers, the capital of Algeria. I bought this fare all the way back in March 2020 and kept pushing the date. And finally, now I got to fly it. And I have to say, it has been a worthwhile experience. Would I pay 10,000 euros for this? Probably not. But if there's ever a super sale again, you can bet I'm jumping on it for another experience here in La Première. Alors, enfin, la première, c'était une belle expérience. I'm really happy to have gotten to try Air France La Première, even if it was at a steep discount. I'm still very happy to have gotten the full experience. I was very impressed by Air France's food and drink on this flight. That's very much what they're known for after all. I think the hard product is starting to show its age a little bit. However, the curtains over here still do a great job of ensuring privacy at every seat. And the fact that there's only four suites here in La Première on the Boeing 777 makes it a very unique experience if you ever get to try it for yourself. After a downright incredible 12 hour flight across the Atlantic, we finally made a rather bumpy landing into San Francisco International Airport. Usually you guys provide this arrival service? Yes, we do. Okay, we well, do. Well, that was an incredible experience. I'm so happy I got to fly Air France La Première. I hope you enjoyed the video from that flight as well. It was an incredible flight and I'm looking forward to hopefully doing it again in the future. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video.